and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is that. I'm not even going to try. He was ranked 6th in his Platinum Division with 2,428 points, 273 wins, and 264 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the West up against Zoassi, who was not paying attention for a while there. He is the Red Zerg player in the North. The map is Metalopolis, which is probably my least favorite map to play against Zerg players because I never feel it's large enough for me to get the, the Banshees, but it's too big for me to get the to get the early pressure again on the three racks so I'm not sure exactly what to go for here uh, I believe a, a one racks three factory build would be very good here but then again if you get that one racks three factory you are susceptible to mutas and most players seem to get mutas very early against me so yeah once again don't know what to get um, yeah with the one racks three factories it I don't know, I always have trouble producing the marines quickly enough for the mutas. Especially getting the engine, because I don't, plus I don't think I'm getting the engineering base, I don't think I'm getting missile turrets, so if he goes for fast mutas, I'm screwed. Uh, he goes right into my base, that was a good guess. Once again, I don't know how lucky that is, because he's not going to be getting much scouting done inside my base. There's not much going on here, as you can imagine. Um barracks is on the way and that's pretty much it in his base he's not doing much of anything either he's pretty much got oh there we go 14 pool is that how much this pools cost how much do the pools cost good lord the pools cost 200 i did not know that i figured that they were only like 100 isn't that what they were in starcraft 1 they were like 100 Another two? Well, I guess you get the queen out of it, but still. That is a lot of monies. Oh, and he goes for the extractor steel. I hate when players do that. Um, of course, I, that's because I can't do it. I, I cannot do it as a Terran player. My SCV will stay outside, and you can still kill him. So that defeats the whole purpose. He is going for an extractor in his base. Pawning pool is just now finished. He's not going to have enough for metabolic boost yet because he does not have anybody at the gas yet. I'm going inside his base. He did cancel that extractor. Oh, and I kill him just in time to deny his stealing of my gas. Oh no, SCV! Oh, a little bit of a miscue there, and my SCV does go down. So now we are about. I'm going to. No, that's even. Um, uh, the 25, uh, resources is from him canceling the gas, but he does lose that, so he is a little bit further behind on resources than he could be, now would be a great time to get an expansion, I'm just saying, you have the minerals for it, and it looks like you're gonna give me some pressure with some zerglings, there we go, he is going for it, it is still very late though, He's he still has 200 and he still hasn't, and it just started building the hatchery. He didn't set the rally point for the zerglings way the hell out here. Where is it? There it is. Uh, metabolic boost is on the way as well, and I don't block off. Oh no, what am I doing? What? Oh, I fail at the block off. The bunker is up. It is too late. I hide the SCV in there because I don't really know what else to do. There's nobody in there. Uh, still, I'm now I'm pumping out Marines as fast as I can and uh, trying to take out the, the Zerglings with the SCV. He runs away. He's just trying to take mineral time or uh, yeah, income from coming in. I do have two marines out here, two marines up there. I don't think I realize I have two up there though. I just realized about the two down here. Uh, he is going for a baneling nest meanwhile, going for his expansion still. Those zerglings will fall, but good lord, he's got a lot more on the way. So I, I put two in there, taking two out of, uh, two, uh, two marines in there. 
uh, now fully loaded, taking the SUV out, building a supply depot. It's still not a full block off, it doesn't look like. Uh, not until this thing is fully completed, but I do have enough Marines to be able to hold these guys off, it looks like. Uh, metabolic boost just finishing, look at those guys sprout their wings. Oh, every time a Marine dies, a Zergling gets its wings. And now he's dancing around outside my base. Uh, he does have the Baneling Nest pop up and it does look like he's not going for Banelings yet. Uh, he, so the fast hatch, the hatchery was a trap it looks like. He's just basically getting a queen out of that. And then he started pumping out massive amounts of Zerglings. I don't, still don't see any Banelings on the way. It does look like he, how much does, Cost 25, 25, so he's only got enough minerals for four of them because he has not been pumping minerals this entire time. He does have a spine crawler in case I give a massive army to go around him, and it does look like I do have a large enough army to go around him. Uh, there we go, four, five, six, seven. He's doing them one by one. Uh, looks like he was waiting for minerals for all of them. There we go. 12 banelings on the way. Look at those things throb all up and down. Continuing to pump out uh, zerglings. Uh, so he's not going to have that much of an income, it doesn't look like. He does have a little bit of a lead there, but my mules give me the lead minerals. I, oh, look at this. When I saw that he didn't have anything when he had the expansion, I thought he went for a fast expansion. All those banelings do die. Looks like most of them died on the marines, so I should have the lead. I do have the lead in the uh, in the units lost count. I do have a 200 lead, but remember, two, 25 of that is to that uh, canceled extractor, and 50 more of that is the drone that died. But mine died as well, so never mind. Uh, just the 25 difference. So I do have a little bit of the lead here, and he's continuing to just mass up uh, his his lings here. He does. Uh, so this number lies because these guys are on the way. You watch. Once those spawn up, boom, look at that number just rise like nobody's business. So, I don't know, they, they need to fix that thing. At least give them credit for the Zerglings before they're uh, made into baby. And here I trap them. I, I have these guys on hold position because I got a little bit smaller. Marauders were out, so they may explode on them. I don't know if these two Marauders are going to be enough to counter these, but it does not matter because my first Hellion is out now. Uh, so I am getting Hellions out of this factory here. Uh, Pre-Igniter is not on the way yet because I just got my second extractor up. I'm doing a not, eh, not terrible job. Uh, I'm doing an okay job at best at mineral management right now. Am I going to get this up in time? No! I went for the bunker here. As if you cannot get through all these guys, the Zerglings are going to be able to come in. The Hellions are going to be too much for him. He, I had to rebuild that because he told me he couldn't do it. It looks like I stopped production again. Hellion, come on. Uh, two Marines, two Marauders. There we go. Still doing mm, bad job here. Um, and it looks like I am scared of Mutas, so I am getting uh, four missile turrets around the back of my base. Uh, once again, don't no, nothing coming out of the uh, nothing coming out of the orbital command. I do have the lead in harvesters right now, though. Um, don't don't know why. That means he hasn't been producing at all, pretty much. Um, He does have the lead in minerals, though. So, apparently my SUVs are all out building right now. Um, that most of them are on the... There we go. Starting to catch up. Uh, I don't have anybody in the bunkers. Not, just not putting two, mar two marauders in, sorry, uh, because I want them to slow down, and it, they do have that increased range. Uh, looks like this guy is trapped outside the base. Is the Lord going to come in? He's going to... Did he see that starport? He did see the starport, so I don't know if he realizes what that means. But what it means for me is I'm going for banshees, just a couple of them. Not going to bother getting cloak, but yes, he did see that and he's instantly going for a spire inside his base somewhere. There it is. 
No, that's too big. That's the evolution chamber. Where is the spire? All the way in the back. Look at that little thing. Good lord. One zergling sprinting all around the map. So I take out the the bunker there. He's not really producing that much, is he? Um, taking out the, the little test zergling. Gonna take out uh, this overlord here. Hellions are out in front. That is not where I want them, really. I want them behind. What is your range? You have a range of five. Uh, so, I, I don't... No, I definitely don't want you in front against these guys. But the Hellions are not focusing their attacks on the Zerglings, and that might cost me, but I do still have the large army here. He is not rallying his army to fight me while the foreign colors are engaging me. Uh, instead, he runs around and then he dies. He's stimming up, trying to take out the Overlords. They just finished Seed, it looks like, because um, he definitely sped up while he was being attacked. Um, Flying Colors going down. All, he, all he's got is Zerglings on the way. Two Flying Colors are going up. Where are they going up? Way in the back of his base. He pulls the drones off the line because he's pretty much set to abandon this base. Reinforcements are just now going out now. He's going to be sticking with Zerglings, I'm going to be sticking with Marines, Marauders, and Hellions, it looks like. Uh, these guys do 24 damage versus Light, thanks to that pre-igniter upgrade. Yes, the blue flame of death. Uh, but it looks like all my first army died. Yes, number one is gone. But number two is on the way, and they are doing massive amount of damage for me. Once again, I don't want my Hellions in front. I am not used to Hellion Micro, uh, but that is definitely something... Once I, once I realized that they died so fast, I'm like, you know, they probably shouldn't be out front. We're beamings are That is not going to be enough. Look out all these guys. Uh, no. No, it's not. But Cloaking Field is on the way. Banshees are on the way. Am I doing a good job? I'm doing an okay job. I need that expansion up right now. Uh, Marines just hanging out inside the base because I did not set a rally point for him yet. Um, what am I doing in here? I'm trying to take out the evolution chamber. Am I going to finish it in time? Yes! I do finish it in time. So he does not get that upgrade. It looks like it was going to be a, um, armor upgrade. Yes, the armor upgrade. Uh, so he does not finish that in time. My third army is coming in now. They are not on hockey, it looks like. And he was going to send Muse into my base, but he ended up canceling that. He does not cancel the Bane Links, uh, so I'm able to go inside his base. He has so much gas right now, uh, but he has only the one base. Look how much got this guy has. Five kills before he dies. And he should have gotten a lot more with that pre ignite upgrade, um, but it looks like he did not shoot the right angle. I don't know how else to put it. So he's going for uh, Mutalisks here, uh, because that's pretty much, yeah, he has the Spire, and yeah, he's pretty much only got the tech for the, the Mutaling. I do have two missile turrets out in front of my command center here. I need to morph that into an Orbital Command or a Planetary Fortress. Planetary Fortress, now that I think about it, because he'll probably send Lings to back this up. But I'm sending the Cloaked Banshee inside his base. Just the one right now. And I'm doing damage, it looks like, to the queen. I've chosen the queen. Um, is going inside my base. They're going to focus down a supply depot. I don't know why the supply depot. And there goes the banshee. No. There we go. Overlord is on the way. Where? Where's? Where's about, is it? It's way the fuck over here. So, he calls good game. He is getting expansion inside his over at the third base. Uh, what happened to the Mutas? Oh, they died to Marines. And that's the game. So a little bit of an anticlimactic uh, win for me because uh, of this one Banshee, pretty much. This one Banshee, once again, uh, saves the day. Once all the once all the Mutas go down, uh, that's pretty much game. It's just the one left. Now he's got three... Where are the other two? They were hanging out around here. Oh, look at that. He canceled all the... Yeah, he canceled them. Look at all the giblets fly. Oh, that's awesome. Let's turn. Nice. Nice. We're all Matrix on the jibs. 
so yes that was the game um interesting game i was i actually called this game uh crap terran crappier zerg uh i believe it was bubba that said where do i find all these crap zerg players and i, I honestly i have no idea you know they they pick them randomly for me i just get lucky i guess because look at that uh, 1,400, 1,000, that is way too much, oversaturated here still, um, not really producing anything out of here, it doesn't look like, no, um, I definitely should be, there's no excuse for me not to, there's no way I would have known that this was game over due to one banshee inside his base, but apparently that was enough for him. I don't have that much of an army left, uh, but once he saw that I had these guys uh, uh, with the, the Mutalisks, that was pretty much it. And yeah, I, um, once this Banshee was in there, I was going to start moving in. He ended up canceling the expansion as well, so giblets will fly. Whoosh, whoosh. So that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. I know it wasn't one of the best games, but just... Um, yeah, I, I wanted to point out that I did not give up. That is something that I've done before. You know, once he got inside my base, I had to pull the SCVs off the line. That does not mean game over when you're facing a crappy Zerg player. Or at least it looked like a crappy Zerg player. Once again, he was a random player. This is probably just his off race. But that was the game. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.